There is something wrong with the universe, and nobody really knows what it means at the moment. The James Webb Telescope has discovered galaxies that theoretically existed before the Big Bang. This challenges the Big Bang theory and our entire cosmology to date. Science now faces a seemingly unsolvable problem. Although researchers like the Swiss Fritz Zwicky proposed alternative explanations for our universe 100 years ago, these theories are now becoming relevant again. Join us on this cosmic journey. Something is wrong with the universe. James Webb Telescope and the Galaxies Before the Big Bang? Hardly any schoolchildren today know the name Fritz Zwicky, but names like Albert Einstein, George Lemaitre, and Edwin Hubble are well known. These researchers laid the foundation of our cosmology for almost 100 years. Albert Einstein described space-time, Lemaitre proposed the Big Bang, and Hubble observed the apparent expansion of the universe. But now, all these theories are being put to the test, and the new superstar among telescopes is responsible for this, the James Webb Space Telescope. This marvel of technology has provided us with many fascinating images of a previously unknown universe, revealing that the old theories might be wrong or at least incomplete. Fritz Zwicky was a contemporary of these great researchers. The Swiss physicist, who also studied the movement of galaxies and the dynamics of the cosmos, proposed a theory that is once again topical and the subject of heated debate today. The idea of tired light is very simple. Zwicky postulated that light is not constant, as Einstein claimed, but that it undergoes a physical change during its journey through time and space, which he called fatigue. Einstein asserted that nothing travels faster than light and that the speed of light is always constant, not relative like other known forces in the universe. It seems logical that researchers have long used light and its speed as benchmarks for exploring the universe and determining important values such as distances and the rate of expansion. Before we examine the potential flaws in these theories, let's explore some of the fascinating galaxies discovered by the Webb Telescope, galaxies that should be impossible. With its ultrafine sensors, the Webb Telescope looks further back in time than any previous telescope. Thanks to red light spectrography, Webb can detect light that is very faint and highly redshifted. The first deep image of the universe showed galaxies that existed an estimated 13.6 billion years ago. The remarkable thing is that no galaxies were supposed to exist at that time. It all began with the, the astonishing discovery by Harvard student Rohan Naidu. He and his team announced the discovery of Glass Z13, a galaxy that demonstrably existed around 200 million years after the presumed Big Bang. Its age suggested, at the beginning of the Webb era, that galaxies could have evolved faster and earlier than previously thought. However, some researchers were initially skeptical. Then came GN Z11, and with an estimated age of 13.4 billion years, this galaxy once again provided overwhelming proof that the old theories might no longer hold. GN Z11 is one of the most distant known objects in the universe, originally discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope. The discovery was only confirmed by the Webb Telescope. GN Z11 offers insights into early star formation and galaxy formation in the young universe. Thanks to Webb's stunningly accurate spectrometer analyses, it is now clear that stars and fully formed galaxies existed much earlier than previously known. Sears 9316 was discovered by the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey. This galaxy was originally estimated to be an incredible 13.8 billion years old, sparking enthusiasm among some researchers and challenging others. The other galaxies still allowed for the idea of a much faster evolution of matter, this was the loophole for researchers eager to hold on to the Big Bang theory. However, a galaxy as old as the Big Bang itself challenges this view and makes new approaches, such as the Eternal Universe or Zwicky's theory of tired light, more plausible. The age of Sears 93316 is still the subject of heated debate, with the discoverers constantly presenting new evidence for the authenticity of the find, while critics attempt to refute this evidence. HD1 is another unusual galaxy with an estimated age of 13.5 billion years. It is one of the most luminous galaxies among the very old galaxies discovered so far, indicating an unusually high rate of star formation. These are the facts that scientists are searching for, 
as HD1 could help us significantly deepen our understanding of the conditions and processes in the universe during this epoch. Let's take another look at MAX0647-JD. It's not one of the lesser-known newly discovered galaxies, but it still has some interesting features. MAX 0647 JD was discovered by gravitational lensing with the Hubble Space Telescope and then further studied with the Webb Telescope. With an estimated age of 13.3 billion years, MAX 0647 JD is not one of the oldest galaxies, but strangely, it is one of the most evolved. It existed only 500 million years after the Big Bang, but shows such a high degree of order and size that it should actually be several billion years old. This suggests that the formation time of this galaxy would have been before the Big Bang, which defies current understanding. These galaxies are only five of the 15 confirmed impossible galaxies, and there are more to come. Tired light, Zwicky already knew about it 100 years ago. Imagine, the most crucial component that scientists have used to study the universe has been misunderstood until now. Light is not constant, but becomes tired over time. Minimal differences are enough to change distances of several million light years, rendering our measurements completely wrong. Another possibility within this theory is that light physically behaved completely differently 13 billion years ago. Consider this. The light that now hits the observation mirrors of the Webb telescope was emitted 13 billion years ago or more by stars that no longer exist. Of course, the Earth did not exist at that time, not even our sun. And it's very likely that only a small precursor of our galaxy existed. These particles of light, therefore, traveled incredibly far and for an incredibly long time. As the light traveled, space also expanded. If the idea of the expansion of the universe is true, this expansion could have stretched the light, but we don't know that for sure. We have no way of measuring or investigating the original light. We can only deal with the light that has undergone this extremely long journey. We also cannot travel back to the time when the light was created. Despite these hurdles, these faint light signals are actually miraculous. The mysteries of time and space and the journey of light allow us today to study the universe as it was 13.5 billion years ago. This is fantastic. Interpreting the signals is really a bit of a guessing game. Researchers have to take all the fixed known quantities and then derive constants, similarities, and meanings. This is how our theories and explanations are created. In addition to light, there are several other quantities that researchers use to measure and describe space. These are certain phenomena that always behave in a consistent way. If it turns out that this was precisely the mistake, we really are facing a complete reorientation of science. Rendra Gupta is a Canadian researcher who, in 2023, put forward a theory showing that a small modification of these cosmic constants quickly leads to a much older universe. But not only the age of the cosmos would then change, variables relating to expansion and origin could also be completely different. Gupta presented a coherent calculation according to which the universe could be 26.7 billion years old. However, he also showed that a further small adjustment would lead to an age of 40 billion years. This would explain why we see masses of galaxies in Webb's images that suggest a much older universe. Gupta also considers Zwicky's ideas and shows that the picture of our universe turns 180 degrees when just this one small component of tired light is taken into account. Science can go no further. It is fascinating to observe how the world of science reacts to the new circumstances. One person who was excited about the new findings is U.S. astronomer and astrophysicist Michio Kaku. Kaku is regarded as an exceptional researcher who has written many books to bring the mystery of the universe closer to ordinary people. He enthusiastically explained that the Webb telescope completely reshuffles the cards in science, and Kaku welcomes the changes. He knew for a long time that something couldn't be right. Kaku, in addition to his passion for the visible universe, is a big proponent of quantum physics. Quantum physics and classical physics still don't really go hand in hand, which proves once again that we must have a flaw in the system. Other researchers, such as the project leader of the Webb Telescope, John Mather, are sticking to the old theories. 
Mather told the press that he firmly believes that the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago was correct and that matter, and therefore, galaxies were formed faster than previously assumed. A third scientific genius, whose name is currently being discussed a lot in the press, is Sir Roger Penrose. A few years ago, the scientists from Great Britain postulated a cyclical universe in which there is a kind of basic matrix that transports the idea of matter from an old universe into a new one. According to this, all information is stored when an old universe dies, and in this way, matter could be quasi-turbo recycled in a new universe— which could lead to a faster formation of stars and galaxies. Penrose's model also predicts that black holes play a crucial role in these cycles. In his model, they are pretty much the last objects or physical entities left at the end of a universe. Penrose, who is already a Nobel Prize winner, could indeed be right in his ideas. But there is one big problem with all these theories. Until the end, they remain theories. We cannot yet look back to the Big Bang or beyond. As fascinating as the new web images are, we will always be confronted with a great unknown when we look at the pictures. These are the phenomena that we simply cannot explain, the missing links between the pixels of the images. Light may not be constant, the universe may be much older than we thought, and Penrose's ideas may even be correct, but the whole truth will remain hidden from us. This brings us back to Michio Kaku, his theory about the multiverse could explain how such an impossible universe could exist. A glitch in the matrix or a quantum leap in space could create the illusion of another universe that, in reality, does not exist at all. This, in turn, could solve the problem with the impossible galaxies. Or we are simply wrong, and we cannot interpret the web data correctly because of incorrect assumptions. Until science figures this out, we are faced with the eternal question— how do you see the world? Does it end at the edge of the observable universe? Or is there something far beyond that we have no idea about? Are we just a drop in the ocean? Or do we occupy a much more important place in the universe than we can imagine? One thing is for sure. If light is not constant and the universe is significantly older than previously thought, then we have to throw almost everything overboard that we have learned so far. This doesn't mean we will stop investigating, but we will always have to keep one thing in mind. Nothing is as it seems, especially not the universe. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Tell us your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.